Spring has finally largely arrived here. The snow has melted away. We got 18 inches not that long ago in April. So that snow's finally melted away. I'm going to be setting up the tractor with the plow to get ready to go work in our potato garden. But in the process, I thought I would talk about a tractor feature that has largely gone away or changed when it comes to modern compact tractors versus older tractors and then larger ag tractors. The feature I want to talk about is back here at the three-point hitch. Let's take a look. Now, every three-point hitch has two lower link arms and then a top link arm. You'll notice this arm is fixed. This one is not. So as you're facing the rear of the tractor facing forward, your right side arm is going to be adjustable, whereas your left side arm is not. The adjustment on this right arm is what I want to focus the discussion on here. What you're looking at here is what is called a leveling box. Now, I didn't know that short of looking it up, but that's what this is. Basically, what we have here is a hand crank that turns this and ultimately that threads in and out, and this allows for raising and lowering this three-point arm independent of the other one so that you can adjust the level on implements. Now, this helps when you're trying to hook up an implement if you need to work with these arms and get them moved around. It also helps if you're using something like a box blade. You can actually adjust one side relative to the other so you can do some grading and, and slope or crown a, a driveway that way. And it also comes in handy when you're running a plow, which is what I'm going to be doing in the field to prep it for planting potatoes. Now I call out this three-point leveling box because this is a feature that I don't see on newer compact tractors from any of the major manufacturers because I've been looking and I've been looking for that feature because I really like it. It's convenient. What I'm seeing instead is something that operates more like this top link does. So you have something that's threaded and threaded and you have to physically turn this and then tighten up a stopper nut on it, which is way less convenient than simply turning a crank. And then to lock this in place, all you have to do is flip down that little holder or retainer. And that's it in terms of adjusting side to side level. That is way easier than trying to fight with something like this. I can only speculate why tractor manufacturers would have moved away from the leveling box system on most of their compacts. Some thoughts I have is that this costs a little bit more money, although it can't cost that much more. And quite frankly, for a hundred bucks, I would take this all day, any day. Uh, another factor could be the advent of hydraulic top and tilt kits on rear remotes and auxiliary hydraulics. That's nice, but that's really expensive, again, compared to something like this. The other thing that occurs to me is that nowadays a lot of folks use three-point quick hitches for a lot of their implements, and so there's less adjustment needed. However, that kind of goes by the wayside if you're using a box blade and trying to grade a particular way, or if you want to use a plow, which of course my plow is not quick hitch compatible at all. In fact, most of my implements are not quick hitch compatible. And then lastly, the only other thing I can think of is that the usage on compact tractors has changed and most people are not using them in ag type or tillage applications anymore. They're using them for the loader or they're using them with a rear mower of some form and they don't need to adjust the level on their three point. That being said, being able to adjust easily helps with mounting implements and it helps with controlling exactly what that implement is going to do behind the tractor, making sure everything's nice and level. So if anybody has more detailed or accurate information about 
what the deal is with why we don't see leveling boxes on compact tractors anymore, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear from a manufacturer or a dealer about why this feature has largely disappeared. So now that we've discussed the leveling box on the three-point hitch, let's go ahead and get this tractor set up for plowing. I store all my implements on rolling platforms that I made and the plow is actually back there behind that Troy built rototiller. So I got to shift a few things around to be able to roll that out here. Got to open the door, pull the tractor ahead. We'll get the plow sitting right about here, back the tractor up to it and we'll be able to hook it right on the three point. All right, now this three-point hitch is raised up all the way right now. As you can see, we can get that one in. This is technically the right three-point arm, which has the adjustment on it. The other one is appreciably higher, and that's because of the way that these plows are made so that you can actually plow with the plow level when you have a wheel in the furrow. What I have is that kickstand there. That one comes out. And then that side of the plow will tilt down and rest on this other kickstand. And that's where I'm going to work from in order to hook things up. Having this dolly, essentially, is a tremendous help. Because I can move the platform around in order to help line things up with the tractor. There's no easy way to put on certain implements it just is a physical, physical job all around. So, shimmying my platform here and get that lined up. All right, now the tractor will hold this side. The easiest thing to do is just going to be to raise this arm up so I don't have to fight the plow. So this is where that leveling box comes in really, really handy. Next up is the top link. And believe it or not, I've got to extend my top link and pull the rear of the plow up to get this to work. We'll extend this link out. Now we gotta crank it up. And then I'll have to adjust everything after I get this off of this platform. So as we look at this, it is nice and level for that 
first pass, and then I actually have to pick this three-point arm back up as subsequent passes come because that right tire goes down in the furrow, so the tractor's on an angle. Front to back right now, it looks like based on how I have the top leg adjusted, the rear is just a little bit high. That'll end up working out fine because when this drops down into the ground, right now it's sitting here on the floor, when it drops down into the ground to actually plow, that'll sit down level. So there you have it. Is that leveling box essential for setting this up? No, but it sure does make it a lot more convenient and a lot easier. So I wouldn't want to be without a hand crank leveling box like that on my three-point hitch on a compact tractor.